What's up, everyone? If you follow any gaming social media website or even, God forbid, log into a Call of Duty game, you know that Modern Warfare 3 is expected to release sometime this year. Now, it's, it's obvious Call of Duty is slowly losing its grip on the gaming world. Activision is basically just a sinking ship full of players and money, and they're throwing the players over to get rid of some weight. But not before they empty your wallets. After Vanguard, I was hesitant to spend a whopping 70 bucks on the next COD, and I'm sure there are others who felt the same way as I did. Although I felt like the main grabbing point of Marvel for 2 was nostalgia, there was a rumor going around that sounded promising. I don't, I don't even know if it's a rumor. I could have sworn it was like a for sure thing, but maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly. And the, the rumor was that Call of Duty wasn't going to have an annual release in 2023. <laughs> yeah, sounds crazy. And uh, instead, they were just going to have extended DLC for Modern Warfare 2. Anyways, I'm thinking, you know, you know, $70 for a game that's going to have like two years support, two years of the same COD. Because normally, you, you spend $70 on a COD, and after a year, everyone drops it and just buys the next one. That's just been the cycle. But I thought God himself interfered and broke the cycle. But uh, Activision, being the little devil they are, stepped in and showed everyone they meant business. And we've kind of known for a while that COD was releasing a premium title, but now I think it's confirmed. I'm pretty sure that as soon as they seen the check, the big whopping check come in from Modern Warfare 2, the sales there, they were like, yeah, yeah, we're not doing anything free next year. We need that. We need that money. And so Modern Warfare 3 is coming out and get this, it's full price. But here's what gets me. Modern Warfare 3 is basically just an upgraded Modern Warfare 2. Uh, from what I from what I'm reading and hearing, it's it's Sledgehammer Games fixing the game. They're, they're the few things they're adding is like increased movement, reload cancel, ninja perk, and I, I, like red dot on the mini map. I think like the old COD used to be. And there, there's a few more, but that's just that's just a few of them. To keep like to me, it's it's like sorry guys, we messed up. But for seventy bucks, you can get the same game that we think will make up for it. Keep in mind, the the game still might not be that great. And at this point, I'm, I just blame myself for buying the games. I don't know why I do. It's like this little COD fanboy inside of me just kicking and screaming compels me to buy it every single year. But this COD, I'm going in with like the lowest hopes given Sledgehammer's track record. And I'm, I'm definitely waiting to buy this one. Uh, well, yeah. You know, as soon as I see a Tim the Tatman video that's talking about how Modern Warfare 3 is the greatest COD of all time, I'll probably just give in and you know, throw my money at Activision. I don't even know what COD could do at this point to save itself, but maybe the changes Modern Warfare 3 brings will be a step in the right direction. Who knows? And the other thing I want to talk about is this tweet from Mr. T. Lexify. So Activision is planning on copyright striking videos that contain any of these things. Why? Why now? Origins and Call of the Dead have been out for like a decade. It just goes to show Activision truly cares about the money. And if you think about it, the people who are making videos that contain these cutscenes or any of this stuff are people that probably enjoy the content that they're playing. And that's the only people it hurts are the people playing it. So I, I, just, I just don't understand. I mean, fire cell jingle, seriously. <laughs> Activision is just the epitome of corporate greed and chills like me just keep fueling their fire. Anyways, yeah, Activision sucks and that's about it. I'll see you on the next one.